Hi everyone, welcome to part two of what is and why use Google Drive. During this tech pop, we'll show how to share a file already uploaded to Google Drive and provide an overview of Google Drive's share settings. Last time we talked about Google Drive, about how it was an online or cloud storage system where you could upload and download your files to your storage space so that you could download those files and access them from any computer or mobile device connected to the internet. This also increased security because of the need to not use a USB thumb drive where you could easily lose that and the files on it. So that additional security, as well as the greater storage of cloud storage, because it can start from 15 gigabytes, which is your standard USB drive, to as large as you choose to pay for. The second part of Google Drive is its online collaboration tools. So for this video, we're primarily only going to deal with email attachments and how Google Drive can replace and add features to attaching files through email. With attaching files through email, previously you compose your email, attach your file, and it would be a physical file associated with that email to be sent off. There was great security risks with this because once you've sent off that email, you don't know what happens to that attachment. It could be forwarded to any other person and they would have access to that sensitive data. Google Drive adds features such as being able to control very specifically who has access to that file by sharing it specifically to an email address. Therefore, even if that email is forwarded, the forwarded email would not grant access to the same file the way that attaching a file to an email would. In this video, we will go through how to share a file from Google Drive and the different permission levels that we can share a file with. Furthermore, we'll also talk about sharing with a shareable link and the security implications of that. And finally, we're going to go through how to share a file in Google Drive from Gmail. So as you're composing an email to access that Google Drive file and to initiate the sharing from Gmail, just like adding an attachment. In order to share a file in Google Drive, we must first select the file and then in the menu header, we'll see the share icon. It's the person with the plus. If I right click on the file, I'll also see that same icon with the share options in the menu. It's the same icon. I can choose to click it in either location. It will give this pop up, which allows me to share this file with others. There's get shareable link, which we'll talk about later and then people where I can put in a person if they're in my contacts list or an email address for me to share this file with. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in a particular email. And then from there, I have the option to the right to choose what kind of permission levels. I can choose to let them edit, comment, or view. This is more important when we're dealing with Google Docs, Google's online text editing, web application. Here in Word or Microsoft Office products, editing only gives the option to rename the file as opposed to uh, making any real edits. You have the option to add a note. And once you're done adding this note, then you can go ahead and send the file. And what this does is it will send an email notifying the recipient that they have received this file that has been shared with them. So we're going to go to the recipient's email and we're going to see the email that was sent. And when we click into this new email, it basically just says that this document has been shared and you can see the note that was typed up in the center. They can choose to click the sample.docx or the open button. Either or will open up the particular file. When they see the file, they'll have the options at the header where they can choose to open with, which we're gonna skip until we finally talk about Google Docs. They can print the file. They have the ability to share the file and download it as needed. The share only works if you've granted the user can edit access. If not, then they'll only be able to uh, view the file. 
Same thing with rename. They'll only be able to rename the file if they have edit access. Then they can zoom as well as view the details of the file if needed. One other thing that the recipient can do is if this is a Google account, they can go into their Google Drive and organize this file accordingly. A lot of people think that they can't do anything with the file and they must keep that email. If it's a Google account, this is not true. They can go to the shared with me section, click on the file, and in the header menu, there'll be an add to my drive, which they can then go ahead and click and then be able to organize this file into one of the folders in Google Drive. So if there's folders, they could have selected a folder and move it. And then when they go to my drive, it will appear. I'm just going to hit refresh to make sure that it appears properly. And there we now see that the sample doc has been filed in their my drive and they can file it in any folders in that location. So it's just another way that the recipient, if they have a Google account, will be able to manage that e file outside of the email. From there, we want to go to some of the advanced features of sharing. So once again, with the document selected, if I go to the share pop-up, at the bottom right, there is an advanced link. I can go ahead and click that, and now I have more options. There is the hyperlink URL at the very top that if I needed to resend the link to the person that I shared the file to, I can copy and paste this into a new email. Here, I'm just going to copy it and just paste it into a new tab. And we'll be able to see that as long as they have the link and have permissions to see the file, they'll immediately see the file from that URL. Then give some social media right below for us to be able to email or share it out as needed. And then from there, there's additional options of people who have access. The first one is about visibility. It currently is always defaulted to only specific people can access. And then we list the specific people below it. So myself, the user, and the person I shared it with. I can then go ahead and change the share permissions as necessary after the fact, even if I've already sent that particular file away. So I've changed it to can view. So now the recipient can no longer rename the file or share it with other additional users. So those are just some other things that we can do. So now going to our uh, user who received the file, if we open up the particular file, if they try to share or rename, the rename option is no longer there. And if they try to share the file, the best they can do is ask the owner to invite the people below. So we'll send the request to the owner and they can then choose whether or not to invite the people to see this file or not. So that would be for Word or documents, PDFs, anything that's not a Google Doc, that's the difference between the can edit and the can view. Also with non-Google Doc files, there is no way to comment. So you can completely ignore that option for any other files that have been uploaded to Google Drive. So that's the main thing that I want to show there. We just want to talk a little bit more about the share settings to delete a user that we could just click the X right beside their name, and then they will now disappear. They will no longer have access to that file, even if they still have this email. So coming to the email, if I go ahead and click this file again, now it's going to say that the user needs permission to see this file. So this is where the additional security of the files is best managed in Google Drive, because even if you grant someone access so that they can see the file, you can revoke that at any time after the fact. The last thing is at the very bottom, there is a small line that says editors will be allowed to add people and change their permissions. You may not want this. So there is a change button that you can click so that only the owner can change the permissions. So if you have a lot of editors, but you don't want them to be able to change permissions and add people, that's what you'd go ahead and click. The next thing that I want to point out, and I have moved to a business account, is to also show that in the permissions of the file, that there is also an is owner option. This option is only visible in Google Education or Google Apps for Work, 
where if you grant someone ownership, they will then have full control of the file. And only the owner can delete the file from Google Drive. So if you were an editor and you simply removed yourself from the sharing list, you have not deleted the file. So in that case, if you are owner, you're the only one that can delete the file for good. Also note that ownership can only be given, it cannot be taken. So please always be cautious of who you give ownership to. Coming back to the consumer level of Gmail, there's also the option to get a link. This is to get a shareable link and this changes the visibility of the file. If I go ahead and click this link at the top right corner, it's going to fill in the icon to make it green. It's going to say that anyone with the link can view. So this completely opens up the file to the public. So anyone who has this link can easily go and view it. So currently there is no one else that this is shared with, but the visibility has changed so that anyone can view. So even though TNS user 02 does not have access to this file anymore, because it is now public, if they were given the link, they could just paste it into a web browser and it will take them directly to that file. And then they'll be able to download it and etc. So please be very caution with, cautious with this get shareable link, just because of the fact that anyone, here's TNS user 05, same idea. Anyone that has that link can just paste into a web browser, have access to this file. So if it is something with sensitive data, you should never be using this get shareable link option. If you do choose to use this get shareable link option, this is not the only place that you can get the link. Once this is turned on, you do have the option to click the links in the header, and then you'll be able to see the link as well. If you do want to turn off this function, there is a drop down menu in the options for me to switch so that users can edit or comment, as well as I can completely turn off this ability and then the link will no longer be accessible even if someone already had it. Another location where you can change the shareable link options is in the advanced section in visibility. There's a change right beside the first option under who has access, and then you can choose specific people, anyone with the link, or public on the web. So these are the same options as if I click the get shareable link and clicking get shareable link defaults to the middle one. Anyone with the link will have access to this particular file without needing to sign in. Another thing to note is that if you're part of Google Apps for Education or Google Apps for Work, there are some additional options. So if I go ahead and just close this pop-up and close the share settings here, I'm going to quickly switch over to our Google Apps for Education with our TechNerd Services account. And if I click on the share and the advanced share settings, in the same location for visibility, I will see additional options for within the Google Apps for Education domain. So I can specifically say that the file can be accessible to anyone in the domain or anyone completely public. So that's just another option that if you're using Google Drive in a business or education environment. The one final feature of sharing that I want to point out that increases security is if I want this file to only be accessible as viewing so that they don't even have the ability to download. I first set the sharing to can view and then in the details of the file I can switch to the details section and at the very bottom it will have prevent viewers from downloading. This only works for non-Google Docs files, so for PDFs, for Word Docs, PowerPoints, Excels, anything that's uploaded to Google Drive that you don't want your users to have a physical copy of you can check that checkbox off in the details of the particular file and share it with only can view settings. So this is everything that we have showed in Google Drive. We now want to be able to show how to share in Gmail. So we're going to open up Gmail and if we were to compose a new email, we want to be able to attach a file from Google Drive similarly to if we would just attach a file traditionally. So I quickly write this email, and then there is an attach files and a Google Drive icon at the bottom. I don't want to use the attach files, I want to use the insert file using Drive. 
And when I go ahead and click that, I'll get a pop-up and then I can choose the file in Google Drive. And then there's options in the bottom right for me to attach it as a traditional attachment or a drive link, which is the one where I get all my permissions. It is now placed into the email as a link. When I hit send, it gives me the option to share this file appropriately if it's not already shared. The default is anyone with the link can view. So this is they don't need to sign in. So this is the public one, the same as get sharing link. But under more options, I can specifically choose that. It's only the recipients of this email can view, can comment, can edit. But it does give the warning that it must be a Google account. So we can do that in Google. And then once we're done choosing our sharing permissions, we can just go ahead and click the share and send button. And I'll send the email, create the permissions for the file, and then our recipients will be able to see the file without any problems. If we switch over to the recipient's email account, we will see the email. And the nice thing is it just appears as a link, as well as we can see the attachment at the bottom of the email. They can click either of the two and then be able to have access to that file from Google Drive. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.